Welcome to game. You're so wacky. <laughs> <coughs> oh, we're starting off good. Oh, let me hack up along here. Oh. Hey guys, welcome to GT Live, where if I sound funky today, it's because I got sicker before I got better, uh, which is why I missed yesterday's live stream and decided to make it up today. Hopefully, I'm not hacking all over the camera. Hopefully, your ears are not too grated by the fact that my voice sounds like it's been through a tree grinder. Mm. How bad do I sound, Chris? I mean, you've sounded worse. I don't think it's that bad. I've sounded worse, thanks. Cause the cause the desperate thing here is I've been I've been kind of putting off recording this this episode for a while, and I got to do it tonight. So if my voice is not at a hundred percent, is the episode gonna sound really terrible? No, I think it'll. Jason's it'll like, yes, stand yes, it will. Out. Really? Is it bad? Terrible. Agree, Damn Your it. Your normal voice is much better than what it is. My normal voice is not much better. Thanks, thanks, guys. Wow. I will say, uh, when I wake up in the morning uh, and I'm sick like this, I do have much deeper range than I normally do. It's exciting. Uh, hey, hi friends. Today we're continuing the ongoing saga of a giraffe who's just looking for some love. And by love, I mean it's actually a female giraffe named Love. So be it. Uh, for those of you who missed it, we started playing Giraffe Town last week, and it was great. It is a weird game. It's super funny. It's super random. Uh, I like it a lot. It's one of those games that you're just looking at, and you're like, this is so stupidly ridiculous. I have no idea where it's going. <laughs> I We started off as just a giraffe who was sitting on his couch, kind of regretting his life and the fact that he had slippery hooves. And that was his struggle in life. And then we were teleported to some alternate dimension after like a 15 minute cutscene where we were suddenly in H-E double hockey sticks. And, you know, we had summoned the devil. We were somehow a ritualistic sacrifice for the devil. So that was a lose scenario, suffice it to say. Uh, at which point we proceeded down literally the longest gameplay road ever known to mankind. <laughs> we got through it, we got to the other end, we got a pair of shoes, we are no longer slippery, and now we're just seeing where life takes us. So that's kind of the theme of today, friends. Seeing where life takes us in Giraffe Town. As I try to narrate, talk through funny moments, and also not be overly sick and get anyone else around me overly sick. How are you feeling, Chris? Great, I had an emergency earlier, and I just feel on top of the world. I'm not gonna lie to you. Do you? That's good, because you got a trip coming up, so I don't want you to be sick. It'd be, I'm gonna get sick the moment I get back. I can see it coming. Great, fantastic, <laughs> that's the best. Um, so anyway, uh, Stephanie is not here. She's in North Carolina right now, hence me being buttless, or I, I actually still have a butt. You don't have to worry about me being buttless, but there is a part of the couch that remains buttless next to me, which is a sad tragedy. But you can still engage with the Taze stream using hashtag GTLive. Chris is over there in, in chat land and in Twitter land. I sure am. Where he People can read safe. comments that oh. are deep and insightful and funny, like this one. Uh, slappery. And play Mist. And love your channel. And I'm sick too, don't worry, Matt Pat. You, you are not alone. Thank you. And Ooh. that one's from EB Cookie. EB Cookie? Yes. It's a delicious sounding cookie. <laughs> Everyone who's sick, what, what? Woo! Yeah! Hopping into the recording closet tonight and gonna struggle through a script on Avatar Last Airbender. It's gonna be great. Yay! Yeah. Woo! Who knows, maybe my voice will recover by then. Yeah, Seems or maybe you can pass it off as sounding like Aang for the whole episode. No, Aang has like a, a, a youthful, boyish... Maybe you could be King Boomy or something. I was going to say, I feel like I'm a King Boomy. <laughs> oh, I'm a King Boomy. I'm a wacky old guy who can earthbend. I'm also swole when I remove my kingly clothing. Yeah, he is really jacked. He Right, King Boomy, for those of you, I mean, all you Avatar fans, you know. King Boomy, man. Woohoo. He, he he did not skip uh, arm and leg arm and chest day at least. <laughs> His legs aren't super big. Might have skipped leg day. Might have skipped leg day, but when you're an earthbender, 
really doesn't matter so much, does it? Anyway, hey, let's get this giraffe some loving feelings, shall we? Let's continue our adventures in Giraffe Town. Giraffe Town. Giraffe Town. I don't know why, but Noble Gamer says veggies and... Because it's very health conscious. I guess so. Oh, and Pug Lord says they're sick too with a sick emoji. Oh, we got a lot of sickies today. Hopefully this will cheer everybody up. Right, you're in good company, friends. So, uh, Chris, I believe we ended the last live stream. We were going into a cutscene and it seems like we have missed that cutscene. Oh, yes. So can you fill us in on what? So we retrieved a key from this dog who kept kicking us in the crotch. Yeah, the big dog. Yeah, the big dog, yes, uh, who is literally named the big dog. Um, he gave us a key, we hopped through a couple of platforms, and now we're here in kind of this like wintry area. Uh, and there was someone sitting at a bus stop. What, what did we miss? So this person at the bus stop made a lot of uh, really creepy faces. You would have thought something scary was gonna happen. They mistook uh, your character, a giraffe named Giraffe for a horse, per usual. And, uh, and they seemed like they were gonna do some harm to you. But then their bus arrived, they got very excited. Uh, upon arrival, the bus hit you, you fell over, he boards the bus and is gone, and you wake up alone on the pavement right where the bus left you. Wow, that is a lot, actually. <laughs> do you have like a YouTube video we could watch of, of that? Actually, I totally do. I'm gonna hook up the H2. Wait, you do, really? Yeah. That would be, I, I feel bad moving forward, because it seems like that's, that's a lot of stuff to have missed. Because I also have not seen this. I'm like, hey, Chris, pause it so that way we can... We can get this sorted here. Yeah, here. I'm going to waste my time by parkouring around this small little park. Hardcore parkouring. Off the trees! Oh! Reverse! Reverse 360! Woo! Look at me go! This. Elite right. jumping. What? I'm, I'm, I'm sorting through finding it now. The, the browser is loading for me, but Fair I'm going to resize this page. So, oh, and, and if you're wondering why the shoes honk, they're clown shoes. Um, what does it say? Property is protected by video surveillance. Okay. So there was a soccer ball. It didn't seem like I was able to do much with it. Doesn't seem like there's anything off in the distance. Doesn't really seem like there's anything hidden here. This is the way we came from. So... Starting things off strong with uh, me being very confident in what I'm supposed to do. Uh, am I supposed to wait for the bus? This is a weird game. I wouldn't be surprised if I just like have to sit and wait for the bus. Maybe not. Usually, there are command prompts though when you have to do stuff, so. Is there anything with the fence? Can I open the fence? Ugh. Oh, there it is. That's what it is. What's up? I'm dealing with the classic ad. Aw, oh, hate those things. <laughs> Ads. Wish content were free, man. Gosh darn it. Okay. So here we go. Okay, got here. This thing so this is, this is the cutscene that we missed? And I'm then, gonna put uh, it up on your little monitor. That's fine, I'll watch it down here. It. There you go. Oh, excellent. This is, this is great. <laughs> who, can you, can you, is this a walkthrough by someone or can we give credit to who yeah, this there, is? Yeah, there is some talking in the background, so I'm not gonna play the talking, but it's by um, Friends Without Benefits. <laughs> That's a good channel name, I like it. <laughs> oh man, there's a special guest appearance? I know. Actually, there are a few special guest appearances if you keep watching. It's hard to tell who's who as it goes, because you only hear their voices. Fair enough. All right, here we go. So this is our scene. Just sitting here waiting for the bus. And we haven't seen this guy before. Yeah, he's brand new. Boy, it's sure cold out tonight. <laughs> Brilliant. This is great. You're... Your sizing and placement of this window, too, is, is to be commended. Amazing cinematography. What was that sound? Hey! 
The bus should be here any second now. Just gonna wait it out. There's nothing out here, silly me. It's great. The cutscenes, I will say, the cutscenes in this game are, are literally second to none. Who's there? Are there spooky noises, I'm assuming? Uh, yes, there are spooky noises. You approach. Actually, the spooky noises are your shoes. Or my shoes. My little clown shoes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. What is that? Oh my god. <laughs> what is that? Man, if that, like, how has this game not been made into a reaction gif in some way? Actually, yeah, why is there no React to Giraffe Town? I feel like there needs to be a React to the... Someone call up the Fine Brothers and let them know that they need to react to Giraffe Town. Phew, what a relief! Ha, <laughs> wow, I am on edge today. Excuse me, sir, I'm a little lost and was wondering if you could help me out. Wow, his expressions are amazing. Quite terrifying. He <laughs> looks like the clown. The oh, the time tunnels the time traveling clown, but also like a really happy Harry Potter. Sir, please, have you seen this giraffe around here? He's very expressive. One of the most emotive video game characters I've seen in a long time. Uh, sir, how dare you look for my giraffe love? Wait, you can talk! Wow, wowie zowie! game is a, a trip, man. <laughs> oh, I get it now. You're trying to find your friend, right, buddy? That is your dear friend. Oh, there's an ad in two, one. Oh, Mid-roll. Mid-roll ad. Oh, get out of here, HBO. Your dear friend, get it? It's a joke. See, it's not really a joke because I'm a giraffe, you see. Looking for love, please. Has this giraffe been here? Well, there isn't much left of the town. Flower shop is still up. And, uh, I did see a house across the street from the flower shop. Thank you. This game doesn't have a whole lot of, like, robust world building, so I'm glad you've really pinpointed where this, this house is going to be. What happened to the town? What happened to Giraffe Town? The place has been falling apart ever since the sun started. Wow, there's a robust lore here. The sun started to die out. Oh, you didn't hear? The sun has been slowly dying out. <laughs> That's why it's been so cold and foggy lately. I thought we were entering, like, Silent Hill. The sun still does come up. It's not completely dead yet. But it's very, very dim. Haven't had a nice sunny day in a while. But that's okay. I like to stay positive. With my very neutral face. I'm actually on my way to a friend's wedding myself. I'm waiting for the bus. That's why... I'm here, at the bus stop. The house across the street from the flower shop. Love has got to be there, because it's literally the only place in this game. Great. Thank you very much. You have been a major help. Wow, he is going through a whole roller coaster of emotion. <laughs> Man, just, just a wild ride going across his face. I can do different facial expressions. Actually, I'm the only character in this game that has different facial expressions. Use it, man. If you got it, use it. Oh, and there I got hit by a bus. There you go. Wow. Oh, yay! My bus is here! I'm a bus. I'm off to the wedding now. Bye! Oh, jeez. I hope they didn't hit my legs. Great. Doing great. And that's it. All right, so that's everything. <laughs> Clear as crystal. <laughs> I'm glad we all took a moment to, to just get ourselves back into the Draft Town mindset. Also, important information. I don't know how I would have ever found how to move forward in this game without knowing that clearly we're supposed to head to the house across the street from the flower shop. And the sun is dying. Maybe that's why we're summoning Satan. Who knows? Let's continue, shall we? So maybe we're not only just looking for love, we're also looking to save the world. One giraffe at a time. Okay, so that seems to be the way that we came. Kind of kind of spooky sounding, honestly. Giraffe Town is not the most welcoming of places. Yeah. Oh, here's a flower shop. Flower shop key was hidden in these roses. 
and I can open the front door. Great. I was not aware that I needed anything to open the front door, but Giraffe already knew in advance, which is fantastic. Oh, yeah. Flowers shop. The <laughs> shop is owned by flowers. Great. I like the very creepy minimalist uh, music we got going on here. Great. Giraffe Town is a very bustling metropolis. Yeah, this is the arts district. <laughs> what are you trying to say? <laughs> uh -oh. this, this is it. Love has got to be in here. Okay. Deep breath. You can do this. Just be yourself. Let's go. What is this camera angle? I love it. This is so exciting. <laughs> oh, he's so excited. He's I can't like... believe I'm finally going to be in love. Oh. oh. If only every time I took a step forward, I would actually move forward rather than like sliding back partially. Oh, he's so excited. This is a good thing because the whole point of this game is he was afraid of like seizing his own life in his own hands. So him taking these steps is actually literally and figuratively important in the narrative arc of the story. Tell you what, man, if this is a successful pop singer's home, I ain't getting anywhere close to it. Looks like straight out of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> I'm expecting like a guy with like a skin face to bust out, start dancing around with his chainsaw. Well. What? <laughs> I'm not far off. Oh, 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 oh no. Nope. That's a big ol' heaping up in a nope. <laughs> oh no. She's stitched together, right? Did, did I see? Right, her, did she look like her mouth was? It looked like her Hello. mouth was stitched shut. What? <laughs> what? Oh no. Oh no, we're entering into like a serial killer's den, aren't we? Oh no! They, they are really setting up this shot, man. Like every camera angle you can hit. Love! Her head is also enormous. Oh no, her head is stitched onto like a body or something. Oh my gosh, I finally found you. Oh, you're not getting a giraffe. I traveled all the way across town. I mean, that was quite the accomplishment. All the way across town just to meet you. Oh, this is bad. I am afraid for when they pan down. I'm a huge fan. It's such an honor to see you in person. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this isn't scary at all. What is that grunting? Uh-oh. No! Go! The other way! <laughs> no! Oh, this is horrific. Yes, that is correct. Move away. Move away. I'm ready for a quick time event or something. This is Man of Madon right here. Do you stab him? <laughs> no stab. <laughs> no stab. Don't stab. No, I would totally stab this. I would totally stab Love at this point. She has no body, right? Like, it doesn't look like... In all these shots... Is she a skeleton? She, no, she's a person in a suit. What the heck? <laughs> what the heck? I can't believe it. Love is a lie. Love is standing <laughs> right in front of me. Oh no, I'm speechless. Oh, giraffe, no. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. What is this? Nope. Nope. Oh, this is horrific. Is she, is she actually cr crying or is that just like crud on her eye? You got some crud on your eye there, love. <laughs> You're even more beautiful and voluptuous in person. Oh, a fan. I absolutely love my fans.
Yes, it's me. World famous celebrity love. The giraffe. Thank you for co the compliments. Seriously, your like contact lens is falling out of your eye or something. Like there's a huge like a like a cyst or something. Yeah, what is that? Uh, I, I got you these flowers. They were literally the only things in the only store in this existence. Why, thank you. How kind. They are lovely. 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 Roses. <laughs> cool. cool. Just, just gonna lay them down and slowly move away. Hey. Don't, don't, don't you dare invite me in. It's kind of cold out here. Nope. Nope. Do you want to come inside? No. No. Nope. That's a, that's a big old red flag. Gonna, gonna put an X on that one. <laughs> put on the brakes. Wow. Oh my gosh, really? You're inviting me in? I can't believe this is happening. Yes. I'm so excited. Ah, um, I mean, yes. Yes, I would love to come in. No, you would not. You're going to be made into a skin suit, aren't you? Mm, that heavy breathing really brings it all together. Great. I absolutely love hanging out with my fans. Please come in. Mm. Mm. The, like, overly long cutscene style of this game really doesn't hit any stride until this scene, and then it's just like, oh, man. The intensity just rose. <laughs> right? It's a, it's a dramatic convention of Giraffe Town. <laughs> really? I, come in. Get warm. With a capital W. So it means get real warm. Wow, uh... Nice place you got here. Doesn't feel at all like a murder den. Oh, I really like the old creepy cabin style you're going for. Yep. Right? When people ask whether or not video games can be art, I now know I'll point them in the direction of Giraffe Town and say, <laughs> yes. Oh, come on now. It's okay. Be honest. I know it's not what you would expect from a celebrity like me. But I like to live a simple life and not let the fame get to my head. Tee hee. I love the decision to keep her face steady and have the world moving around behind. It's great. It's very humble of you. I really admire that, love. I watch you on TV all the time. And I listen to your music every day. You're a real inspiration for me. Oh, stop it. You're making me blush. <laughs> <coughs> You're making my cold, dead, bloodless cheeks blush. Please, come in. Come deeper into my den of lies. Have a seat. Right? Today, we're, we're, we're just watching Giraffe Town today. It really is. Giraffe Town the movie. Gir I mean, it's, it's made for the big screen. Make yourself feel at home. Are those like Rorschach tests, or? Yeah, I don't know. <coughs> I didn't make myself feel at home. This is what I do at home. Staring at your suspiciously creepy painting. Just pondering it. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, that's an interesting painting you got there. Yup. Must be a Jackson Pollock over my head. Just some abstract art, nothing fancy. I'm waiting for the hammer to fall here. You wait right here and uh, I'll go get us some coffee. <laughs> okay. Coffee sounds great right now. Thanks, love. Be right back. You know, giraffe's head must be abnormally small, not only because love's head is so much bigger, but also the flowers are bigger. Right? I think giraffe is just like a young prepubescent giraffe. Maybe like one fresh out of, you know, being born. That's maybe why his feet were so slippery. Oh. 
because it takes giraffes a while to figure out how to walk. Is that true? You know, I'll admit something, love. I mean, it takes them a very brief amount of time. Yeah. What's that? You do look a lot different in person than you do on TV. You know, you're not just like a head attached to some random person's body. Well, that's just TV magic for you and my talented makeup artist. You also sound a lot different in person than you do on TV. Oh yeah. To have a really sore throat. Oh, I can relate. Hashtag relatable. Just got back from a live tour. Singing every night will do that to your voice. Right. Right. That is what happens. <laughs> I would know as someone who does not perform. But you know, these are the dangers that we music artists <laughs> expose ourselves to in order to please our fans. I love, I mean, this conversation is going a long time. Uh-huh. Yeah, I hear ya. The door is right over there. <laughs> Do they want me to move? Oh no, what? Oh, he changed out his head. Oh no, what is this? Oh buddy, what is your head now? You got like a rhino head? Oh, it's just a beard. Oh, is it like a troll? Oh yeah, okay, there it is. You ready for your coffee? I don't, I don't drink my coffee with a fork, sir. Ma'am. Oh, he's a little troll man. Oh, he's the giraffe murderer, right? Wanted. Uh-oh. Quick time event! What? <laughs> quick, quick time! Super quick! Super quick time event! Ready to go, Man of Madon style. Um. You're not really love, are you? I love that because I don't have any facial expressions, you just have to infer what he's actually looking like. We have to save the sun from dying out. This is the, this is the only way that the beast can be stopped. What? This game has taken so many left turns. <laughs> oh, that pierced through, too. Oh, that is that is on the other side of my neck. Sorry, I used a fork. Couldn't find a knife anywhere. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Mr. Giraffe, no! Why is... Why is the a giraffe required to like satiate a beast who's dis extinguishing this. All right. Was I supposed to have moved? Was there a movement cue in there somewhere? No, you had no say. Oh no. Oh no, what is he doing to me? Oh no. Oh, it's a shame that Stephanie has to miss this one. Oh no! <laughs> Oh no! Yeah, I wish Stephanie was here too. Oh! Oh, Mr. Giraffe! He didn't let his dreams just be dreams. Oh, oh that's so sad. a giraffe looking for love. Oh, this is tragic. <gasps> oh. 
Oh, press F to pay respects. To Mr. In the Dr chat. Oh, we already got him. So many Fs in the chat. So many Fs. I, I'm all about the F. Ryan Arnold says, oh, the humanity. Wait, is it Tunnels? Is Tunnels going to save me? I, uh, th that being said, I wouldn't be surprised if this is where this game ended. Like, it is that sort of game. Would not surprise me in the slightest. Yes! Tunnels the Time Traveling Clown! <laughs> Look at this. This is cinematography that they should teach in film school. Right here. Where his head is where my where is where my head should be. That's like up there with like Game of Thrones finale levels of cinematography. <laughs> Hello, it's me again, Tunnels. Tunnels the clown. The time traveling clown. Just stopping by to check on my new friend. I, I, that's you, Mr. Giraffe. Why so sad, Mr. Giraffe? Can you tell? Mr. Giraffe? Mr. Giraffe! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! You don't look so good, Mr. Giraffe! He's accurate. Uh-oh. You messed up in life, didn't you? If I have to go through that whole road sequence again, I will be so mad. Well, it's okay. Don't be sad. We all make mistakes. It's not the end of the world. Yet, apparently. As your friend, I'm here to comfort you. I like you, Mr. Giraffe. I, I really do. You and your corpse just sitting there on the couch. We think that you're a good person, animal. It looks like you've had a rough day. So, how about a do-over? Yes, that'd be great. I'll just send you back in time, and you can restart your entire day with a fresh start. And... You can even keep the shoes. There it is. So now we can do the, the teleportation scene. There it is. That makes sense. That's... Yes, let's do that. Let's, huh. Great. Good. <coughs> oh, here we go. Uh, strap in, ladies and gentlemen, for what promises to be no less than 15 minutes of random computer-generated visualization technology. This one is significantly less seizure-inducing than uh, the one we went through last time. Yeah, this is weirdly soothing. Right? I feel at peace watching this. However, I am going to throw up a nice little seizure warning. Yeah, are we getting to that point? Well, you will have to go through that portal. We could probably skip it, though. Oh, yeah, we can probably skip this one, too, actually. Probably could, but this is new. This is brand new material. This is, this is quality content delivered to us straight into our eye holes by Giraffe Town. <laughs> Our eye holes need this. This is the quality YouTubing that we deliver to you guys. Huh, so I've got five lives again. So, so we're back at the house at the beginning of the game. Got my shoes. So presumably, yeah, if we go out to here, I'm going to get the phone call. Yep, there it is. Phone is ringing, I can go back and answer. And I should, because now I have shoes that will enable me to do the jumping game that I wasn't able to do before. Answer the phone. Hello? 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 Is anyone there? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? We're outside of your house right now. What? Who is this? Hello? We're watching you. Very funny. I don't have time for this. Bye. Don't. Who is this? Shut up. You will do as we say. Right now. Uh, it's 9 o'clock. You will wait until you're in, inside your house until midnight. If you try to leave your house, we will kill you. If you try calling the police, we will kill you. We will call you back in three hours for further instructions. The portal to the beast opens at midnight. 
What? Sacrifice. Okay. <coughs> so. Great. So we sit and wait for three hours. There we go. And just so you know, last time we did try to leave the house, they did indeed fulfill on their promise to exterminate me. It's great. Good times. Phone. Hello? Okay. Next, you'll go over to your TV and wait for the portal. You can access the portal. From the TV. I... I don't understand what's happening. You will not ask any questions. You will go into the portal. You will go through your TV. Please. Don't make me do this. Do it! Okay. So, and we did this last time too. And it took an egregious amount of time. We'll just give you a little taste. We won't watch the whole thing. And through the TV portal, yes. This game, man. Our video game's art. Dear Smithsonian Institute, as you're putting together your next round of inclusions, into your video game art exhibit. Submitted for your approval. Draft town. <laughs> A masterwork in character building, world building, writing. Animation. Oh, animation is second to none. That guy who does facial expressions. He's, he's got a bunch. He's got no less than five. <coughs> Here we go. This is everyone's favorite part. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Part that everyone's been waiting for. Watching giraffe slowly trip out to a five minute rainbow sequence. You know, one time when I was working in, in theater, uh, I worked at a, a professional theater that was attached to like a museum, uh, a science exhibit, as well as uh, it had a laser dome. And what is a laser dome? It, it's, it's kind of like an observatory, but like for laser shows. Um, or maybe it was an observatory during the day and it doubled as a laser dome at night, like for laser shows. But at night they would do like laser programming set to music, right? So they had like Halloween show that was set to all these like Halloween. And they would do like laser designs. And, uh, you know, it was like watching kind of like a trippy version of Fantasia. All done with like giant laser beams everywhere. It was very cool. Uh, I've never seen anything like it ever again never heard of anything like it again but this is a close approximation to what one of those shows was like huh yeah the laser with worse music what is this worse music or better music? uh this is definitely worse music the, the music were, were definitely like highlights from the the pop and classic rock canon uh this is a little bit different a lot of people in the chat are saying skip great let's do that but I don't know if they're referring to the cat or not. Wait, can I? There we go. Oh, use the pad. There we go. What? You guys didn't want to go through that whole thing again? Come on. I was telling you the story about the laser dome. <laughs> okay, so here we go. So in the, the post-apocalyptic world where clearly... Everything is no longer hunky-dory. Oh, Sparkle PR says, Today is my 18th birthday. I've been watching you since I was in the seventh grade. Hey! Wow. Long time. Clapping after you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Happy birthday. Congratulations. 18, that's a big one. I don't think I'm in Samer Hills anymore. Okay, so. Now. Time to do some... Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Okay, time to do some parkour. Great. Here we go. Ugh. I'm not 
not loving the controls on this one. Man, just when you thought you wanted a game with really precise controls for platforming, you get Giraffe Town. <laughs> Control is something that you value in your platformers. Let me point you in the direction of any game, not this. I don't know what you mean. This game looks like a precision tool. Super, it's super meat boy. <laughs> Tight controls. Okay, there we go. This looks good. Are these going to fall away on me? I bet these are going to fall away. Feels like these are going to fall away at some point. Gonna jump. Maybe I won't jump. Okay. Yeah, this is this is clearly this is clearly normal. This is totally fine. No, nothing wrong here. We're all okay. All right. Nothing. Nothing doing. I like that tunnels. The time traveling clowns. Like here, you made some bad life decisions. Go back and do it again. Okay. Let me uh. Just listen to what the demonic cult is asking me to do. <laughs> and uh, teleport my way into Giraffe Town's version of the Nether. Because let's be honest, this is, this is just the Nether. What is this? Oh, I got a, I got a life meter now. All right. Well, there's a gun. That's uh, some kind of strange doghouse. That means big dog. I feel like I've seen this before. I just can't remember where. Big dog's diary, yes. It's getting colder and foggier every day. <laughs> I love that this is his diary. Just, you know, not just him reading his own diary and dictating from it, but just another random shot of him on the, on the right as well. Something strange is going on in this town. I can feel it. Better keep my eyes open and keep track of what's going on. The days seem to be getting shorter and shorter. It gets dark within only a couple of hours. It doesn't seem natural. The sunlight also feels so weak. I can't really explain it. It feels dim. It feels very dim, like an old dying light bulb. Is it possible that the sun is dying out? Now the ground feels like it's starting to change as well, like it's shifting from place almost. Notice that there are fewer people in the town. Still not sure what exactly is happening yet. There's definitely something wrong here. It's freezing cold. The sun was only up for two hours and a large chunk of the town just broke off and fell into the darkness. I don't know where it went. It looks like it went into a bottomless pit. As the big dog of this town, it is my duty to launch a full investigation and get to the bottom of all this. I won't let the town get destroyed, not on my watch. Keeping my eyes peeled 24 seven, looking for the cause of these suspicious and unnatural events happening in my town. Another large chunk of the town broke off today. Why is this happening? I love that this is just all one random dialogue dump here. <laughs> Received a phone call from a suspicious number late last night. Uh, mentioned something about sacrificing for the beast. What does that even mean? The recent events happening, I doubt it was a prank call. Immediately I asked for names and answers. The people on the other line threatened to kill me if I didn't do as they said. They then told me that they are outside my house. Looked out my window to find a red van parked in my yard. Grabbed my handgun and rushed, out, rushed outside. Two men dressed in what looked like scuba suits came charging at me. Immediately I pulled the trigger, shot and killed both of them. I was only protecting my yard. Didn't mean to kill him. I wanted answers. I rushed over and started shouting, What's going on in this town? Answer me, damn it! But it was too late. F word. <laughs> Later called the police to come and investigate, but their phone line was dead. The whole police... This is elaborate. <laughs> an elaborate diary entry. The whole police department was probably deep into the void at this point. It seemed like no one else was in the town except for me. I'm not getting anywhere here. Starting to lose hope. I have no idea what's going on. There's barely anything left of the town. Every day another piece breaks off and falls into nothingness. The sun isn't getting any better either. It's practically dead at this point. Today I disposed of the bodies. Great, threw them off, in, off the ledge into the bottomless pit. No point anymore. I don't think I can save my town anymore. A strange giraffe wearing red shoes came into town today. Said he was looking for the celebrity singer Love. He was able to find the town key that I had hidden. I kicked him in the nuts because he found it. No one has ever found that key before. It didn't seem to be a troublemaker. Turns out he was legitimately looking for love. Seemed like a good animal. I saw something special in him. He has potential to help save this world. I want to see him succeed. 
So that's interesting. So even though Tunnels the Clown set us back in time at the beginning of the day, Big Dog still has a memory or a record of us having our interactions with him, which is interesting. Something, see that there's a, again, there's a deep interconnected lore here that needs to be theorized about. Wouldn't you agree, Chris? I would love a giraffe town theory. I would eat that up. Right, all about it. Something unusual happened the next day. Man wearing a creepy giraffe mask was in town. I questioned him and he said that he was out here, that he is here to save the sun from dying out. This is a big lead in my investigation. Found him home later in that evening, later that evening and waited for him, waited for him to leave so I could sneak in and investigate his house. I knew something strange is going on here. Found some kind of portal in the house. It brought me here. I don't know what this place is or how to go back. Might not even be possible to go back. The portal I came from isn't even here anymore. This must be some kind of other world or dimension that's connected to or merging into our own world. Everything is silent here yet. I hear, everything is silent here yet. I hear loud screams and roars coming from all over the place. I'm almost certain that there is something living here in this dimension that is somehow draining the sun's energy. I keep coming across some strange otherworldly poo-poo butter in here. Things I've never seen before. I still have no idea what this dimension is, but I have a theory. A game theory. I strongly believe that this place is not just somehow connected to our world but it is connected to multiple other worlds, galaxies, universes, dimensions all across space and time. Also, I don't think that the portal I came in on, it came in from is the only one. I'm 100% sure that there is multiple portals spread all over these other worlds and dimensions which connect everything and everyone in existence. I believe that there are multiple ways to access these portals as well, but how? Are they man-made? Are they somehow naturally created? Are there multiple ways a portal can be made? It's possible that there's even other people or other life forms who already know about these portals and understand how to travel between them. Maybe there, oh my God. There's a lot. Welcome to my dramatic monologue, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this is, if anyone is looking for an audition monologue for their scene study class, might I recommend Big Dog's Diary Entry from <laughs> Giraffe Town. Hello, my name is Matthew Patrick. For my dramatic monologue, I'll be performing Big Dog's Diary from Giraffe Town. Oh, I've never heard of that play before. Oh, don't worry. Just sit back and enjoy. It's a modern play. It's, 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 it's a modern play. It's like an Edward Albee. In that, that style. Maybe there are life forms that know how to control these portals, giving them the power to navigate across space and time and every dimension in existence. Do events that happen in other worlds somehow impact what happens in this dimension? My mind can't handle any more of this. Been wandering around this place for hours, but it seems like I've been trapped in here for years. Maybe it's been years. I don't know anymore. I've lost all sense of time. Is time something that even exists in this dimension? Came across a dead body of a giraffe. The head is missing, and there's a bundle of red roses in place of where the head should be. F word. This is a long diary, <laughs> but gotta write theory and keep track. It's important for the future. I'm out of ink. Could prob write one more page. If I don't come back, I have failed as the big dog to protect my town and my yard. Going to keep moving deeper down now. Bee dog. Wow. Wow. F to pay respects to big dog as well. That was elaborate. Great. So I'm going to grab this gun. I guess. Well, shoot. Uh-oh. Looks like things are getting serious in this game. This gun has eight <laughs> bullets in it. And those displays. <laughs> Looks like things are getting serious. Ammo's displayed in the top right. Ammo might be hard to find in a place like this, so use it wisely. Great. Press the action button to shoot your gun. Are you ready, Matt? For what? <laughs> I have a feeling if, if this is anything like the... Uh, this is anything like the platforming mechanics. I have a feeling the shooting mechanics are not going to be all that much better. It's just a prediction. Whoa, what is this? What is that? Whoa, hey, hey, hey. What, what are you? What are you? What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? 
What the what the heck? Whoa, 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 okay. Okay, so it takes two shots to kill these things. Good. Oh, shoot. I'm a I have one more bullet! Oh, buddy. Oh, this is, this is bad news. Are we going to get the jump scare? Please continue from just that scene. Please continue from where I left off. Okay, sounds like we are. Uh, all right. Uh huh. You found a convenient place. I am gone. Great. Okay. So aiming is basically just turn and shoot, and I'm assuming I just need to get to the end of whatever this maze is. I guess. Oh, there's a thing. Okay. There is ammo around um, throughout the maze, so when you run out, you, you can find more. Are these infinitely spawning, or do they... Okay. Am I, like, sneaking? Okay, I've se okay, 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 okay. Holy jeez. Okay. Got rid of one. Oh, jeez! They do infinitely spawn. Like these, So these are, like, basically the spawners? Oh, God. No! Oh, jeez. Oh, buddy, this is bad news. Oh, buddy, this is, this, this is no bueno right here. Oh, yeah, this is, this is bad. Bad stuff. We've gotten into a, gotten into a bad way here. There, there's really no, uh... Okay, so we're out of ammo. We gotta find ammo and avoid the giant. Okay, there's the ammo. I see ammo. No! Shoot. No! Ah! Oh, darn no. it! Oh, come on! <laughs> come on! Okay, okay, run, run, run. We're just gonna keep running. Nope, no, no. Okay, there's one right there. Oh, no! Oh, jeez! Holy. Oh, no. Oh, Giraffe Town. Just when you thought walking the, the never-ending road was the most infuriating thing that this game t could deliver up to you, welcome to the handgun maze. Do you have an idea of what I should be looking for, at least? Yes, so you're trying to get through this maze, yeah. and along the way you're looking for two keys. Two keys. That look like keyblades. Look like keyblades? Yes. Kingdom Hearts style, huh? And at the end of the maze you'll find yourself at a, at a house, and you'll need both of those keys to get in. Okay, I want them to, I want them to come toward me. That way I can just kill them off in a place where I have a little bit more room. Rather than get swarmed. Okay. Great. Good. Yes! It's one. Oh, Chaotic Bread is helping us out in the chat with a little announcement. For those who just joined, Giraffe Boy got killed by a dude who killed love, then the Time Clown revived him back in time. Which, you know what? As funnily worded as that is, which, you know, props to the comedy. Also, very a concise, very much a concise summary. Right? Thank okay. you. Nope, nope. Oh, God, get out of here. Oh, ah, shoot. I was oh, gonna... man. No, no, I was doing so good. It's no, big no. Oh, man. Okay, so that that section right, oh, jeez. So that section right there is, uh, that's a bad section. That section right there is where you, you don't really want to get caught. Do they respawn? No, I think there's just a ton of them, and they can float through walls. And they seem to be attracted to the sound of the gunshots. All right. Hey, well, that time we did slightly better, because we got through a couple without getting hit. So that was good. Okay, here we go. Things are getting serious. Great. Doghouse. All right. Here we go. 
Also, once we have an idea of what direction we're, we should be going, that'll also help, I think. You know? Come on. more ammo oh afk underscore fish really nailed this game giraffe town aka lsd plus doom <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty accurate i can see that okay it's gonna run this way friends they following me okay so they're all back in the maze and i'm out of bullets Totally cool, totally fine. You got this, giraffe. Not with this run through. I see bullets on the other side of that fence if you can get over there. On the other side of that flame. I don't think you can get them. Oh, I see them yeah, right yeah. there, yeah. Oh, I see, okay. So if I can get in there, which I think I know how to now. Please disappear. Where are they coming from? No, no one's attacking me. There he is. Are you coming? Are you coming? Man, I'd love the camera angle to be a little less tight to my body. That'd be cool. Okay, there he is. Good. Yeah, buddy. Here we go. Nope. There. Oh, wait. Key. Key. Yeah, no. 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 Oh, shoot. Okay. But we found a key. And it, it, and it does look like a key blade. Okay. Slightly better. We got a key. We know where we got to go. At least for the first thing. Hmm. Oh, buddy. Hello, friends. Welcome to Giraffe Town. The not at all rage game. It's great. So good. <laughs> we got through the never ending road. We can get through the never ending maze. We've already got one key. What more do you need? One more key. Okay, here we go. Oh, you're getting a lot of support in the chat here. So. Butterfly, butterfly Candy Plays Roblox. Hey, can I get a shout out, Les? Shouted. You out. can. You have been shouted. Okay, where, where is he at? So it's interesting, right? Okay, there we go. Huh. Damn it, I missed one. Yeah, two with one. Take that. Okay, here. Nope. Oh, she could get. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. Mm. Nope, no, 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 no. Good. The camera, the camera angle is brutal. House key. Look, we're improving. Nothing that way. Okay, we're gonna have to go to the middle. It looks like, because it seems like we're kind of exhausted. And here's this guy. Good. Oh, oh, come on. Damn it. Oh. 
Go, 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 go. No, oh, no, no, no! Oh my gosh. How did he do it? Okay. Okay, there's this guy. Damn it, I missed him. Nope. And I'm out. Yeah, shoot, shoot! Oh, oh yeah. Okay, we're getting, we're making. Pro oh my gosh, there's so many of them. <laughs> so many, and I have so few bullets. So few. is exactly I mean in a game that's very clearly driven by logic of course and solid storytelling what do you think these things are oh specifically the floating head boys yes I I think they're I think the beast is a reference to the devil so I I guess these are little little devil heads like metal heads, except they're like big fans of the devil instead. Great. It's an interesting assessment. Damn it. Oh, that was stupid. They are floating though, and they kind of have a humanoid feel. So maybe it's as the city falls away and people are disappearing, they're becoming these giant, lost, rageful souls in a, in a maze of. Wow. Fences. It's, it's poetic. It's oddly beautiful what you just described. <laughs> I was channeling my inner, my inner John Milton there. Oh, come on. Oh, oh nice little fence fade through. Right, shoot, now I gotta get, I gotta get to that bullet over there. Ugh. Come on, buddy. Keep following me. Come on. Keep going. Or you can be stuck there, that's fine. Yes! Jukes! <laughs> okay. God, shoot, I... Nope! Oh, here we go. Wait, there's a key! Nope, that's bullets, though. Oh. oh man. Okay, okay, okay. Rambo's in the house today. They're making a new Rambo movie, did you know that? I did know that. I was surprised to learn that the other day. I'm like, wait, I haven't seen anything about this. I'm pretty sure it's just like... Oh wait, wait, Ooh, sorry. Ooh. Okay. They seem to be doing that with kind of everyone, and I feel like it's, it's Stallone. Like, Stallone's whole second wind has just been like, it's me doing all the same stuff I used to do, just old. Right. Hey, you know, it, it is an interesting way to kind of like bring an end to your career, to go back to all your like original iconic starring roles. Uh oh. Oh, hey, there's the game. Hate to see that. Oh no. A Here, game let me reload. Crash. We were doing too good in Giraffe Town. They were like, he's getting too close to the end. We have to stop him. We are getting further. I'm feeling better about this. The next thing, the next main thing after this is. The big, the big bad. Really? It's the end of the game? I mean, yeah, but as you can imagine, it's a, it's a pretty tough boss battle. I believe that. Here we go. Let's try again, shall we? Bright flashing imagery, come on. Oh, there was something in my TV. A door to another world. Great. Back once more! Right, but that's, I, I think that's a pretty cool thing that if like you're a really famous actor, like that's, that's a nice thing for you to be able to do as you kind of like start to kind of inch towards retirement. Like, hey, I pioneered a bunch of characters that are still relevant today. 
that people still fondly remember. And so here's my chance to, oh, there's no music. Uh oh. Which actually makes it a little bit harder because them moaning was actually a decent cue for me. That was a, that was a good cue. Here, let me. Do you, do you want the music? Uh, we should, we'll have to reload it, right? Yeah, we'll have to close out the whole game. And okay, let me, let me die. Yeah, maybe the silent run will, will take you through it. Oh, God. Maybe. This is kind of, this is just, this game got a lot more art, arty, though. Right? This is actually very peaceful. This is almost like Candy Crush levels of soothing now. I used to do that in college when I would play, uh, I played a lot of Mario Kart Double Dash on my GameCube. I was a big Double Dash fan, but I would put on soothing music and, and put the TV on mute and just race. Really? Yeah, it was relaxing. Because, you, you know, the race, the in-game music is all about getting Gosh. you hyped up and moving. That is true. Very accurate. I'm a pretty tense human as it is, so. What? Compet I, I don't oh, appreciate the sarcasm. Man, I'm surprised you're still alive. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> well, not for much longer, apparently. Yeah, there we go. Shoot! Okay, here. Let's, uh, so X out, you said? Yeah, if we just close it out, and then. I'm like, shocked that this game does not work perfectly every time. Here, let me let me boop in there real quick. Come on, come on and boop. Boop in. Hey. Hey hey. Hey hey. Let me do a little. Boopy doo. -doop. A little fix in here. Nice nugget shirt, Chris. Oh, thank you. I know how things work sometimes. Oh, the fear of fa falling will create a fear of falling. Oh. This game requires. Oh, it's just. I was is that, skipping out. Is that what happens when you X out of the game? Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen that. It gives you a little, a little fear, don't be afraid thing. That's oh, that's beautiful. Nice. Even though the game is actively trying to kind of make you afraid of leaving the house. Right? It's the whole thing. Like, hey, don't, don't leave the house. But you know what? Or don't be afraid to leave the house. But if you do leave the house, be prepared to be sacrificed for the good of humanity so that way the sun no longer dies. It makes perfect sense. Draft Town. Narrative. 10 out of 10. You know, I just, I just, I just got my uh, invite to the video game awards this year. I hope to see Giraffe Town represented. Yeah, I mean, I'll be there root. I'll be there rooting, at the very least, indie game. What other indie games could hold a candle? I can't think of one. The closest game. Here, I, I have no microphone, but the closest game to Giraffe Town that I can think of really. It's to the moon. I mean, when you think of a game, to the moon is so old, Chris. That takes you. That yeah, is not. That is not it, relevant to this. Just it, because we played it this year. It really calls on that emotional legacy of of great storytelling, artistry, um, uh, uh, old people uh, dying. What was to the moon about again? <laughs> <laughs> should uh, should there be sound on the title screen? Yes, there should. I'm really, I'm really a little bit perturbed by this. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry to hear that you're perturbed here. Let's. Here, I'm gonna. Just gonna X out here. This is. We have a, a good rule. Oh. For... Oh, now it's super, super frozen. There we go. Okay, I'm just gonna reboot it. Ready? Ready. Here we go. This is the third time's the charm. Magic. Activate. Draft time, go. Okay, there we go. Fingers crossed. Is there music for any of the loading screens? I don't think so, right? I think so. There should be sound there, but that page was skipped. Mm. This does not bode well. We have permanently broken the game by playing the game. Here, I'm going to bring in the old chat, and I'm going to make a quick fix. Great, that sounds good. Breaking the game by playing the game. The dangers of playing in the games. All right, here we go. Thanks, buddy. Let's see. 
See, Butterfly Candy Plays Roblox has the correct solution, which is turn it off and then turn it on again. The Toasty Gamer 27 says clap and a half, please. I'm going to cry, Sue. Well, we wouldn't want that, so <laughs> clap and a half there. Uh, Lux Waffle gave me a clap and a half of encouraging. A clap and a half of encouraging for Matt. Thank you. Uh, Ducks Paredes, per, 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 Paredes says rip sound, indeed. Right? We've paid so many respects during this live stream. We've paid respects to Big Dog. We've paid respects for love. We've paid respects for Mr. Giraffe himself. Now we're paying respects for the game sound. Heck, the game itself we're paying respects for at this point. Lyndon Wong says, biggest off? I believe you might be saying biggest oof, which in and of itself is an oof. <laughs> uh, I like Kiwi Fruit Games, who says, uh, here's some sound effects. Do, 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 do. So, you know, if all else fails, we can, we can ask Kiwi Fruit. Gabby S says, when you say giraffe town, it sometimes sounds like draft town. Well then. Chaotic Bread says, thank you, Chris. Book Mouse also says, we believe in you, Chris. So here's the thing, friend. If you, if you choke, you're letting down both Book Mouse and Chaotic Bread. Oh, no. Well, it shan't happen. Ava Art says, make merch of this. I don't think I'm allowed to make merch of other people's games, friend. Oh, the meme is strong with this one. Um... Inkling boy, Matt Pat. I'm sick. Also, Matt Pat. Blank. It, it, the joke didn't complete. It doesn't seem like. I'm, I was curious where it was going to. Alas. Here we go. Ancient asparagus says, "Chris, you're doing great, man." Nini says, "Can I have a shout out?" You absolutely can. Catman says, "Chris plus nugget equals chug it." How do you That's feel? That's true. I mean, and you know what? I'm okay with it. I feel like a chug it. I'm chugging it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm chugging it. It goes with my, with my acid reflux. Shining Star says, I'm getting the feeling that giraffe is drugged. I think giraffe is going through all sorts of stuff right now in his life. Our computer is going through all sorts of stuff right now in its life. Is it? Is it having a hard time? Is it yeah. this? Is the is the problem this computer? I think the problem was the game, but I had to give our computer a moment to refresh. Uh, yeah. get, its, get its little action. Uh, Alira, Alira Perez Santana says, "Will there be a giraffe town theory?" There could be if you guys want one. I could potentially. I'd like it's definitely one I could see getting a theory on. I don't know. The the I guess my concern or question is whether there's like enough actually there or if it's just kind of randomness for randomness's sake. Uh, hashtag GT Live on Twitter. Jacob Tidwell says, Matt's going to the Game Awards, awesome. Maybe if we're lucky we'll see another Smash reveal like we did la with uh, Joker last year, which was awesome. That was like, going to the Game Awards is, is actually one of my favorite things that we do every year. It's, it's super fun. Uh, Jeff Keighley, who over the years I've gotten to be uh, friends with, he's, he's such a nice guy, but um, he does, he takes it so seriously, and he's such a good representative for like, he's, he's like a good mediator between like traditional media, like online media, and like the games industry. He's, he's one of the few people who's actually invested and like interested in kind of fusing those worlds together. And the show's always great. And the reveals that he was able to get last year during the Game Awards for, you know, Nintendo to reveal the Joker uh, DLC stuff for Smash was amazing. That was where Mortal Kombat, I think, got announced and stuff. Like, it was amazing, some of the stuff that they did last year. We got, audio. <coughs> we got audio, but for how long is the question? Until the game crashes again. May, May Yuri uh, Sheena3 on Twitter says, Matt Pat at the beginning of the stream, I'm sorry I'm, si stream. I'm sorry I'm sick. I probably sound awful. And then also singing out his problems and the game glitches. Uh, I got to keep you guys entertained somehow, right? Uh, only for GT Live on Twitter says they have the same energy, Chris and Tunnels the Clown. I see the resemblance. I'm Tunnels. I totally see it. You're Tunnels the Clown. Also on hashtag GT Live's timeline, the Wu Tang Clan 
an American saga, the untold story of an unlikely American dream, Wu-Tang on Hulu. That has nothing to do with GT Live. That is a promoted tweet. Get out of my hashtag. So that's what I say to you. Get out of my hashtag. I've got a bunch of weird demon babies to shoot in the face in an attempt to gather the two keyblades and save my dead giraffe friend who has been reborn. Fingers crossed we can get through this without needing to restart literally everything again. Take the gun. Great. Let's get the book. Oh. Well. Well, that's great. That wasted a couple bullets. We didn't need those, right? Bullets aren't necessary in this part of the minigame. Totally fine. We can just stealth our way. We're gonna, we're gonna Metal Gear it. Nope, that, that was decidedly not what happened. Okay, hold it. Here we go. Oh, God. It's all right, we're getting warmed back up into it. It's fine. It's fine. Great. Doing so good this round. Let's just restart it. Did I get them all? Yeah. Apparently the bullets do have a limit to how far they'll travel. I was able to get that guy though at least. So it's good to know that the bullets can travel through the fence and apparently through other of these floating, oh shoot, through the other floating creatures, which is also good to know. I'm so dead, that's fine. Just restart it, that was rough. Is this faster if I just hit restart level? I'm curious. Yes? Seems like it is. Good! We're gonna use that from now on. Take the gun. It's a very inconvenient shot of Mr. Giraffe. It's fine. fine. We need one perfect run. That is not going to be it. When he gets me right at the top of the level. Then I'm coming around. And I'm hoping someone sees me so I can burn through some. I don't want to get these bullets yet, but I also... Oh, God. Nope. Uh, well, that sucked. Good, got through all of those. Uh, that's not going to be helpful at all. Oh, no! Jeez. There's so many. Nope. 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 Oh. Oh, Mr. Giraffe, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry! I've let you down! Hmm. We will overcome. Just need, just need a little bit of luck. A little bit of luck, a little bit of patience. A lot of skill. This game, skill level. Do you have control over the camera movement at all? Or does the I do, game why? handle that? Oh, okay. Well, because sometimes it just shoves the game forces it so close. Oh, I, I don't have control over, like, the di camera distance, no. Uh, I definitely do not have, right? I wish. <laughs> that would have been great, actually. That, see? Good. Come on. Where are you at? Where are you at? Come at me, bro. Good. Yeah, there it is. Little, little delayed reaction there, but I'll take it. As long as he's popping, I ain't stopping. The demons be popping. 
I ain't stopping. No, no, that, that, that's Steven. Yeah! Come on. Oh, God, there's nothing. No! Oh, shoot. Ah, oh, no, get out, get out of there. Go, go, go. No! Oh, poop nuggets. I was doing so well. Good, get out of here. Just so I don't have to deal with you again. Shoot, I didn't get that key. Really? Nope. Oh, bad news. Bad news, bears. Wow, that was brutal. I was doing so well. I was so cautious. Hmm. I like how they light on fire first. Just become flaming balloons. That's what happens when you, you know, shoot objects. <laughs> Little known fact. That's actually the theory that we're doing about Giraffe Town. What happens when we actually shoot things with bullets? Okay. Good. Two. Come on. No? Come on. Come on. Oh, God. Can't miss. Can't miss. Okay. That's all we got. Shoot, he's coming. Where's he at? Where, where are we all? Where are we all at? Where are we all at, friends? Clear? Like clear? Oh, come on! Sneak attack. Right, they're so stealthy! I do like your keyblade, though. It's very fashionable. I hear giraffes everywhere wearing them now. Right, what's, what, what sort of house key is this, man? Oh, shoot, where's he at? Where's he at? I see him. Coming after me or no? Okay. I have a lot of... I'm really... Like, on one hand, I know I have to go down this corridor, but on the other hand, I also recognize once I do, this is when I like attract everyone to me. That's no bueno. Oh come on, that was two shots right in your face. Get out of here. Okay, so now we're reloaded. This guy's going that way. Nope, where's he coming? Where ah oh, shit. Well then, that was a quick waste of ammo. <laughs> Darn it. Look, and there's so many. Ooh. Bob and weave, Bob and weave. No. I think you almost have to just like power, like on one hand I'm like, oh, I should be stealthy. But on the other hand, it feels like you just need to power through. Cause at a certain point, you're just gonna get overwhelmed no matter how many you're taking down. Maybe that's what I'll try. Maybe that's my new strategy. Like stealth through to get the first keyblade, and then just try to power through to get the second keyblade. Taking down whoever, whoever we run across, or whoever kind of like stops us. Come on, man! The camera angle is so good. There are those little like platform, like raised platforms throughout too. Do you think if you were up higher, you could take them all out quicker? Raised platforms, what? Yeah, like throughout uh, throughout the maze, in some of the like corners and like edges of the corridors, there are little raised platforms you could, I assume, jump up on, but maybe you can't. I can't jump anymore. Oh. Just so you know, jumping is no longer an option for me. Here we go. Okay. Shoot. Oh my. Wow. Nope. That didn't work. That is not the way to do it. You were close. Close to what? To round in the corner. To round in the corner? I don't even know where I'm going. Oh yeah, this is totally, I gotta just restart the level every time. Close to what? There's so many. 
do that. Uh, that's the thing I really need to know is when I'm when I'm taking them out one at a time, am I actually taking things out, or are they, or are they respawning? Like that's I think that's the crucial thing I need to know. I don't think. I think you should think about it like they are respawn. Right? That's kind of what I'm... I don't know if they are, but I do think they're, like, it's just constant flow of these things. Right? Where's he at? Okay, I'll take that. Cool. Okay, great. Good. No! Oh! Come on. Oh, there's there's bullets. Use that. Shoot, I need the key. I need the key. Okay, there's there's one. Okay. Wait, no, 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 no! Oh, come on, I had it! Oh! Oh, he came in from behind me with the stupid camera angle! Oh! Oh, I was doing so well! You were killing it. Literally! Shoot. Darn it, I think I have to end the stream too, because of what, it's 5.30 now? No! Shoot, we spent so long having to like, go through the cutscenes and fix the game. Ah, oh, darn it. I'm so bummed. Here, we'll do one more run. It did see, you know what? It did seem like there were significantly fewer of them as I was getting deeper into the maze because I had taken out a lot of them at the front of the maze, you know? Yeah, maybe maybe it is a, a finite amount. That would be... Ah. Nope, nope. Oh. oh, and he just phased me through. That's the other problem is sometimes they'll like phase you through a section of the map and you're like, oh, well, I'm just stuck now, aren't I? Oh! oh Wait, that is that the, the key? key? Oh, that's the second key! Hey, that's good to know. Just gonna jump off. <laughs> Here, we'll do one more. Last one. Now that we know where both segments of the key are, and then, but we gotta figure out where we escape to, right? That's the other, other component of this. You'll we're... see it as you get closer. That is the beauty of the fence aspect of this. That you'll see it, yeah. Nice. Hey, get that. Get those bullets. Good. We took out a bunch really quickly there. That was good. Without taking any damage. Oh, no. Oof. Where did that guy come up from behind? Jeez. Nope, 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 nope. Run, run, run. Go, 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 go. Oh, I didn't get caught. Oh, get out of there, get out of there. Oh man, this is so intense. This is really intense. Giraffe Town, man. Intense gameplay is its middle name. Oh, okay. Oh. Thanks for uh, figuring out that I had properly. No, no, no. Oh, come on! That was two clear shots in your face. No! 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 Leave me alone! 
Leave me alone! Shoot. All right, I have to go because it's 5.30 and sit with Steph out of town. Uh, I am on solo daddy Ollie duty. <sighs> Draft town! Uh, I'll figure out if there is anything I'm missing or any strategies. Now that I know I got the two keys though, I feel like we're making progress. Sorry we didn't get further into the game. I thought we would get a little bit further, but we got through a lot of cutscenes. That was fun. Um, and hey, thanks guys for helping warm up my voice. My voice feels better. I feel like I'm able to like maybe record an episode now, which I got to do anyway. So there you go. Uh, once Ollie's to bed, I'm going to be hiding out in the closet recording. So anyway, uh, that's it for today. I will be back tomorrow, 4 o'clock p.m. Pacific time. So feel free to join. I don't know if I'll be playing Giraffe Town. We'll see. Uh, I might want to give it a day break and play something else. Stay tuned. Click the bell, and you'll be notified of what we're doing. So uh, hopefully I see you tomorrow. It'll still be me solo on the couch. But uh, hopefully I'll see you then. And remember, guys, that is just a stream. A live stream. Press F to pay respects. Say goodbye on Twitter. Um, classy on Twitter says you want to take out as many as you can at the beginning. Remember the areas that bu bullets are in and shoot them once they get uh, set on fire, but stop once they're on fire after about 20 seconds-ish. Okay, good, see? Uh, Irvine, Irving, at Icy Let's Play. I can hear Stephanie's voice echo like Professor Oak. Matthew, we need to end the stream. Matthew, Matthew. <laughs> I hear you, Stephanie. I hear you.